The life raft entry screen enables you to enter multiple life rafts. The manufacturer is the only required field. Notice that some of the fields have pull down menus. These menus are meant as a guide. You can enter any data you wish in the field. You will be asked to save it as an additional pull down item. The other entry fields are the life raft model and its serial number, the type of life raft, its capacity, its location on board, and the container type. You can also enter the date it was initially installed and the date it was last tested. The right hand box contains two tabs, the notes tab and the documents tab. The notes tab is used to enter notes and reminders relating to the life raft you're entering, the due date and whether it's a recurring entry. The documents tab enables you to store pictures, diagrams and documents relating to the life raft. By clicking the add button you can select a file on your system and place it in the document library with a unique name and a default category and device. The library can be searched with the forward and previous keys or the image can be deleted by pressing the delete key. You can also search for the image by using the pull down menu. The system chooses a default category and device. In this case the category is safety and the device is life raft. However you can change this by using the change default button. Once the image is showing in the display box Clicking it will bring up a full screen version of it. After a life raft's information is entered and saved, a grid appears. The grid will show all life rafts that you've previously entered. You can enter additional life rafts by selecting the new button or you can select the item and then select the edit view button to bring back the detail. 